Here is the third aspect of kinematics, the first two being position and velocity. The third is acceleration. And if I had to give it a simple definition, I would say when something speeds up or slows down. Now there are other kinds of acceleration where it doesn't necessarily speed up, but for now let's just stick with 1D kinematics and, and say that's what it is, when something speeds up or slows down. So how do we make that happen? Well, let's see. Let's come over here to our track and uh, hell and lift one side of the track. And as you know, things like to roll downhill. So if we lift one side of the track and put how at the origin and release, right when I release it, the velocity will be really slow, but then it'll speed up, right? So it's getting faster, 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 faster. Oh my goodness, I can't let it crash. Um, let's watch that again. Here, right when I release the velocity, really it's zero, right? When I release, it's zero right now, right? The instant I release, it's zero, but it starts to speed up. And faster, faster, you can see it getting faster and faster. So let's look at that motion. Let's consider it in kinematics, right? So in kinematics, how do we think about motion? We make a graph. Right. So graph, let's do the graphs that we know. Let's plot the position versus time, and let's plot the velocity. Oops, yeah, the velocity versus time, like this. So the position versus time is a little hard to draw, it's a little hard to visualize, but as it was getting faster and faster and speeding up, what you have, instead of it going up like a line for uniform motion, you have it basically going up like a curve. So you can see this is a kind of curve where the slope is getting higher and higher and larger and larger as you go forward in time. If we were to plot the velocity versus time, if we think about it, the velocity was increasing. So no more flat uh, line for velocity. Now it goes up like that. The velocity starts here at zero and grows to a larger value. The position also started at the origin at zero and increased to a larger value. And now for acceleration, well, let's go ahead and find it. The ball has acceleration. Just like we wrote before for velocity, it's the rate of change of something. In this case, it's the rate of change of velocity. Of velocity with time. And we use an A to describe acceleration, and we do it in meters per second squared is the unit, the MKS unit. That's A, and we can get it, just like with the velocity coming from the position curve, we can get the acceleration from the velocity curve, the slope of the velocity time curve equals the acceleration. So here, if this really is what happened in the demo, then we had a constant acceleration, which, which we do when you tilt something like that. Uh, if we want a mathematical definition, you'd write A is delta V over delta T. Okay. And if we look at that, it's usually constant, right? So I didn't write A av. A, a V G, A average, you know, this is how we define the average velocity was delta X over delta T. The acceleration is delta V over delta T, and it's usually constant, so no A V G, all right? That's the only reason I didn't write average on there. Often you'll see it left off because it's constant, it's usually constant. So let's look um, at some other equations that you want to be able to think about, get used to, practice with, uh, with uh, acceleration. One is how does the velocity change in time? Right? So it's really related to this. If we say delta V is V minus V naught, and we bring delta T over here, 
Well, we find similar to what we saw before. But the velocity is a function of time, right? That's velocity is a function of time. I got a little, a little too cursive there. The velocity is a function of time equals v naught plus a t. Where again, technically it's the average velocity, but since it's always constant, we leave that off. And delta t technically is t minus t naught, but t naught really is always zero. We always put t naught at the origin. So usually you'll see it written like that. So just like x is x naught plus vt, that's how the position increases with velocity. v equals v naught plus at. This is how the velocity increases due to acceleration. You could also say, how does the position increase due to acceleration? Right? How do we get this curve? Well, that also has a formula. And that one is x, the position as a function of time, is x naught plus v naught times t plus one half a t squared, possibly the most famous kinematics equation that you want to memorize. Right? And the one little note I'll put on here yet again is to remind you that these are four constant acceleration, not for varying acceleration. But as we'll show you with more demos, it is almost always constant.